welcome everybody. Today we are talking about sharks. And we have a shark here, and we've made a very simple display that you can do at home. We just have blue construction paper for the background that we've taped uh, to the wall. And this is uh, the ocean. And then we have yellow construction paper for the sand. And then I'm using some building blocks called uh, Waffle Town, but you could use Legos or Mega Blocks or whichever you'd like. And then, of course, I have our shark here. Sharks are fish, believe it or not. They're more closely related to goldfish than they are to whales. And that's because, like all fish, they breathe through gills. As they swim, water goes through their mouth and it comes out their gills, and that's how they get oxygen. Also like fish, they swim with their tail going like this, side to side. Mammals like whales and dolphins, their tails go up and down, whereas fish, they swim side to side. Now sharks have what are called fins, and this makes them aerodynamic. Just like an airplane has wings, a shark has what are called pectoral fins, and this keep, it keeps its balance in the water, as does the dorsal fin. This back here is called a caudal fin. That's a tail fin. Sharks fly through the water. They're very aerodynamic. They're amazing creatures, and they've been around for millions of years. Their skin feels like sandpaper because it's made up of little tiny teeth called dermal denticles and sharks have remained unchanged for millions of years. You can learn a lot about sharks by reading some books. Here's a mako shark. And a mako shark is the fastest fish in the sea. This is the whale shark. Now it's called a whale shark because it's so big, but the whale shark is a fish like other sharks. The great white shark might be the most famous shark because he's the largest predatory shark in the ocean. The black tip reef shark is a beautiful shark. The black tip reef shark has black on its fins. And it, he lives, as his name says, in warm seas near coral reefs. The hammerhead shark is a favorite because he has such an abnormal face. It is shaped like a hammer. A great book that you might like to pick up if you're interested in shark, sharks is called Swimming with Sharks by Heather Lang. You can have all kinds of fun making displays like this with your favorite materials with Legos, with Play-Doh, with building blocks, Mega Blocks, Waffle Town like I have, and you can even make your own shark with some of those materials or you could use a shark toy and construction paper can do a lot to make a background and a foreground.